Hi, my name is James Fielding. I'm currently employed as an epidemiologist in the epidemiology unit at the Doherty Institute, but I've also recently completed a secondment with the WHO Regional Office for Europe in Copenhagen, where I was initially the surveillance lead for influenza for the region, and then later joined the team uh, to be a surveillance lead for COVID-19. Um, of course, you'd be very well aware uh, that there's been enormous interest in infectious disease epidemiology throughout 2020, thanks to the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and nearly everyone in the country has become an armchair epidemiologist and there's certainly a large number of people now interested in pursuing a study of infectious disease epidemiology. So why study uh, infectious disease uh, epidemiology? There's now a very big demand for epidemiology, uh, epidemiologists rather, certainly in the short to medium term um, and in the wake of COVID-19 governments all over the world are investing in their capacity to research and respond not only to COVID-19 but uh, infectious disease problems in general. And there's still um, a number of infectious disease threats globally, including HIV and malaria, the emergence of antimicrobial resistant tuberculosis, um, other emerging infections, and the threat of a pandemic demonstrated uh, in 2020 by COVID-19, but the threat of an influenza pandemic is uh, always persistent. The other reason to study it is because it's interesting. Um, infectious disease epidemiologists are not called disease detectives for nothing. Um, and the vast array of infectious diseases each present their own fascinating and unique set of challenges um, as we try to investigate and understand them in the context of their microbiology, uh, the environment and within complex human populations. Um, it's really for anyone who's seeking a deeper understanding of infectious disease epidemiology. Infectious disease epidemiologists come from a broad range of professional backgrounds, including medical, nursing, molecular and laboratory science, environmental science, psychology, really uh, anyone with a background in health science and wanting to apply epidemiology to infectious diseases in, in populations. In terms of what our graduates might do. Certainly the roles would involve, can involve a combination of research, data analysis, of course, policy making, program management um, and modelling. And people doing this would be employed in a wide range of roles, including as epidemiologists or public health officers, project officer, program support officer, outbreak investigator, research assistant or program evaluator. There's also a wide range of employers um, that employ epidemiologists. Of course, governments at local, state and national levels, research and academic institutions, healthcare service providers, the private sector, including pharmaceutical companies, as well as other global organisations such as the World Health Organisation and non-government organisations. So uh, I would sum it up by saying it's fun, it's fascinating, and I wish you all the best.